Madison here with Boundless Brilliance and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a storm in a glass experiment. So this is just a super fun and easy experiment you guys can do while you're home. And all of these supplies should be easily found in your house. So all you need is two different cups, some spoons, some food coloring, whichever colors you prefer, water, and shaving cream. So this um, experiment represents a storm, but the storm just takes place in a little small glass. So the first thing you're going to want to do is just fill up your glass with about halfway with some water. And then from there, you're going to take your shaving cream, shake that up, and then add a layer of that on top of the water. So your glass should be about 75% filled. I know it looks like a little bit more right now, but I'm just gonna push that in and smooth this out with the spoon. You can also use your finger if you prefer that. So I'm just gonna smooth this out to be as flat as possible. Okay, so I think that's pretty smooth now. So now what I'm gonna do is add some water to our other glass. Now we're going to pick food coloring to dye this water. So I'm just going to go with blue and just add a few drops of this in there. If you want it to be more intense and dark, you can add more. If you want it to be lighter, you can add a little bit less. And I'm just going to mix that up. I want mine to be pretty deep and dark. So now what we have in this glass is this bottom layer and this bottom layer represents air and on top of that we have the shaving cream which represents clouds and now we're going to add this which represents the rain. So clouds hold water but they can only hold a certain amount of water. So when it's raining, you know, the clouds just reached a point where they couldn't hold the water that they had in them anymore. So we'll see this experiment represent that. So I'm slowly just going to add spoonfuls of this blue water on top of the clouds. Okay, you start to see more blue seeping through. So this kind of looks like a light drizzle or a light Rainstorm. I then decided to do the experiment one more time, but this time I decided to add more water just to see what would happen. And boom, I just decided to pour it in to see what would happen a little bit more, and everything just came pouring down. So this represented a more heavy rainstorm as opposed to the light drizzle we saw in the last one. And this one, I obviously added a little more water too. So I think it's fun, a fun way to just play around and see, you know, what happens when you add more of the colored water versus less clouds or more clouds. There's so many different ways you can try that out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this experiment. This is definitely something you guys can try at home and play around with. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys come back and watch future experiments on Balance Brilliance. Thank you.